There, there's, uh, yeah. Historians will uh, someday point out what your father really did that day, you know. To, uh, uh, he's one of the few young guys that had that much responsibility. On he's the youngest speechmaster, wasn't he? 23? Oh, sure. I think it was 23 then. Yeah. 22. I thought he was 22. but That's right, because his birthday was on June 27th. He turned 23. I, I That's know, right. You're you know, right. I, I know, Joe. I can tell you a personal story. My father went. I hadn't, I hadn't written home. I hadn't um, in six or eight months from the time I was in the train until the time I went to Europe. Uh, for training with Slapping Sands and Salcom and we on them. And they, uh, oh, it was like, it was Joe and about three other infants were living in a tent. That was what I, and my father went to see the congressman at that time. I think this was in um, 43, it was. Mm -hmm. So I hadn't written a letter, so I got word from Little boats. Strickland was who was a hey. Who's this? They, uh, Strickland was a uh, postman mate, leader yeah, of uh, yeah. the platoon. So he said, "Hey, uh, Lieutenant Foggy wants you in his tent." I said, well, "What's he want me for?" He said, "Never mind. What he wants you for? Get down." And so I went down, and uh, there was three other persons living in the tent with him. I don't different platoons, but they were all in the same uh, tent, including Dr. Davey. So I went in there, and I said, <laughs> I, I'm reporting there. Did you want to see me, sir? And he said, sit down. Sit down. Sit down over there. And I said, what the hell is he up to? So I sat down. I said, he said, I got a problem with you, Hanley. You use first name, but then you were, if you he said, I got a problem with your hand, Lee. He said, I got a notice from uh, a congressman your father went, and he hasn't heard from you in months. So I said, yeah, that's, that's my business, sir. Do you, don't give me that talk. He said to me, never mind <laughs> what business it is. He said, uh, I said, I was always a fresh kid from the street. And I said, well, if I don't feel like writing, home, sir. I said, I don't think that has anything to do with the military. He said, well, it does now. And he had to sit me down. And the other instances were all listening. He said, no, nah, I want you to write a letter. He's still saying that. Yeah. He's still saying that. I want you to write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> write a letter to your family right now. And I said, well, I prefer, I, I don't want to write. He said, this is an order. Sit down, keep your mouth shut, and write the letter. So I I wrote, dear dad, I hope, uh, I, I hope that everything's okay at home and I'm feeling fine. <laughs> and I signed it. <laughs> he was furious. He was furious. <laughs> he he said, did just enough to get by, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and they, the other instance, and they were laughing so hard because. And I, so your dad had a congressman involved to get you yeah, to write home, huh? Oh, he went to Boston and found a car. What, do you think oh, there's something wrong or said, what? He said, I haven't heard from my son. I don't know where he is, yeah. he said, since he left home. So the, Joe says, well, I, you're not leaving here until you write a letter to your father. So he made me write a letter. So he asked me later, he said, did, did your father get your letter to your <laughs> Did he get the letter? Sure he did. Do you have that letter? I don't know where. You ought to get that letter. <laughs> that letter is, uh, you ought to get that letter and make a copy of it and send it to my father. Oh, said, yeah. Here's the letter you made me write. Oh, I was furious. Yeah? About my father. What is he going to congressman for? What, you know, I couldn't understand what the hell's going on. <laughs> now, where were you at this time? Fort Pierce? I, I always said Fort Pierce. Fort Pierce. And it was embarrassing for me. Now, all of incense for every platoon's in the in the tent, including Dr. Davy, and everybody's trying to ignore uh, uh, your father giving me an order to write the letter. And I wrote the letter, and the funny part of it, 
that's the only time he heard from me until after the nominee. No kidding. Yeah, I, Shame I on that. you. How no, could you do that, the huh? Kids, the kids in, the, in my uh, yeah. uh, neighborhood didn't write letters home yeah. once they went in the military. That was it. Oh, that was it. You know. I, Not even to your mom. To nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you mean? <laughs> the, the, uh, there was some pretty wild ones, you know, the, the ahead of me, I guess, at that time. But the military was good for you? Yeah, it was for me. Yeah. Uh, once we, and uh, I know that uh, crowd that I hung with, the gang that I hung with, there was eight of them, seven, uh, seven or eight of them that stayed in the military more than 20 years out of that one exactly. crowd that, I, you know, that we all went together. When you left there, you went to St. Albans for your leg, right? That's when you were, and how much time were you in St. Albans in uh, Long Island? So I got there on July 4th. I was there in August, September, October, and November. So you got the Purple Heart? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> what other medals do you get for that? Well, it's a, you know, just the purple hat. Yeah. And, and there you go. Well, you deserve it. Some people get yeah, a scratch we, on their hand. Yeah, and, but we and, all went to Pacific after that. Mm -hmm. As if you didn't have enough, right? No, oh, it wasn't yeah. that. I, when I got out of the hospital, I thought I, I went to New Jersey, and I was waiting for the story from a, for new construction. I was living in the YMCA there, and... Uh, I was very happy. He doesn't want to write, but we can get it on camera. You can get it on camera. Well, I was very happy. That I yeah, thought I was I getting it. I can't up. write either. Yeah. I can't put things in writing. Well, tomorrow we'll get you on camera. Well, what you're going to do is uh, I got 